guys you're welcome back so this man is going to be telling us why islam is taking over and is the faster growing religion let's check it out it's a future where islam is going to become uh not only the predominant faith but in many ways the solution to humanity mm. for all my muslim friends and some of the people that i'm very close to i don't want you to think that this is an endorsement of of the muslim faith my name is Marvin Dalvari. I'm actually a Catholic by definition. Oh. That will make me a Christian. Uh, but I am here to tell you and to deliver a message, um, pretty much to cast a, a vision about the future. And what that future looks like is, um, it's a future where Islam is going to become uh, not only the predominant faith but in many ways, the solution to humanity. For all my Muslim friends and some of the people that I'm very close to, I don't want you to think that this is an endorsement of, of the Muslim faith. Uh, it's just um, something that appears to be so self-evident that I think that some of us have to have a conversation in that direction. Uh, I think that the way um, we tilting right now, the, the way humanity is developing from politics to economy to uh, many delicate issues that, that deals with what it means to be a, a, a decent member of society uh, at some point is going to require a very strong correction and it's not going to be the orthodoxy of, of the, the Jewish faith it's not going to be the level of tolerance that come from Hinduism, Buddhism or Taoism uh, I, and, and it's definitely not going to be through the uh, sometimes false mercy that comes or, or, or incredible acceptance, levels of acceptance that comes from, from the Christian faith. Uh, painful to say that, right? It should be, it should be a situation where, you know, uh, love and kindness should be always the, the predominant factor to give direction. Um, but that's not necessarily the case. In, in some cases, you need something, uh, a way of doing things that would be strong enough, forceful enough, um, to the extent of absolutely forcing the correction. And th this is one of those moments that as, as, as people, we are getting to the point where uh, certain levels of correction are needed. And, and I think that Islam today is positioning itself as a faith that is willing to fight for what they believe uh, they're going to stand. They're going to stand their ground. Um, they're going to go out there and not only make an argument, that, but they will absolutely go and fight for it. And some of these force corrections that are needed are going to have to come from a centralized way of thinking. Uh, they're going to have to come from deeply rooted uh, values that go beyond, you know, just reasonable concept about right or wrong. Uh, it's going to have to be connected to something that is obviously um, close to the divine or, or divine principles, if you want to embrace it from that perspective. A lot of people will potentially get alarmed about what I'm saying right now. But I do want you to, uh, to be invited to look into it as a, uh, a potential reality for our near future. Um, it, uh, Islam is a faith that is growing uh, aggressively, is about to uh, become the largest faith uh, in, in, in the globe. Um, I think that um, the way they are doing it is, is being done unapologetically. Uh, a very clear position about where they stand about everything. Relationship with God, relationship with uh, family, relationship with other people, relationship with uh, uh, right and wrong, relationship with uh, good and bad. Uh, and so it, the, the, the position is so clear, so strong so deeply rooted and willing to force changes, which at some point is absolutely needed, uh, which is gonna be the only reason why they are going to be the only faith that is going to have the ability to continue to grow at that rate, aggressively. And, and they, therefore, they will be the ones that are going to control the narrative of uh, morality, they are going to control the narrative of uh, how uh, civil civics should function. They're going to control the narrative of how politics, how economy, how, and at some point, 
at some point, uh, especially for the many people that um, opened the door for this to become a reality in the United States. Uh, and I say this because with a little bit of reservation, I'm, I'm not trying to offend anybody, uh, especially uh, any of my friends from the Muslim faith, but a, a lot of the things that happen in this country, especially from a political group that decided to become very Muslim or very Islam friendly and has done just about everything and anything to open the doors. It appears to me as I look through history and as I look through the process that it's not something that was done necessarily because they believe that Islam is either the best religion or the best way of, of um, either raising a family or practicing uh, religion itself, you know. I think that it was mostly done because um, it was an anti-Christian position to take. I think it was mostly done because sometimes people believe deeply, deeply that um, the enemy of, of my enemy is my friend. And so they decided to open the door just because uh, many people that didn't agree with uh, many of the Christian principles uh, said, well, how about we introduce a counterbalance? I will not agree to accept the argument that it is a better religion. Uh, I will agree to be respectful about the fact that it's a religion that is growing. And I'm also extremely respectful about the fact that they are going to do something no other religion is willing to do, which is to fight for their position. Um, to the people that decided to open the door for that to happen, uh, this is going to be one of those I told you so type of moments. It's going to be one of those uh, be careful what you wish for type of moments. Um, hopefully, what we are going to experience is the most tolerant and open and engaging and more acceptable, uh, acceptable uh, version of Islam and not the extreme uh, version of it because if you think that you've seen some extreme Christians, um, then you have a, an incredible surprise coming your way. Um, at the end of the day, uh, what I do hope to see is uh, at least something or someone um, willing to fight to, to make certain corrections before we really go wrong about so many other things. Um, I look at the history of, of religion. Uh, I think that Christianity many years ago was able to get past the, their dark ages. Uh, unfortunately, Islam is not quite out of it in, in, in many areas of, of, of the planet. Um, and I think that we are going to experience uh, some of that here. Um, and um, I just wanted to make this little video, especially for, but absolutely for two reasons specifically. One of them, like I said, is self-evident. For me, I'm, I, I was thinking about this really, really having a conversation with some uh, very interesting people. And we asked the question, what do you think the future of religion is going to look like? Right? doesn't appear to be that the strength of the Catholic Church is there. It looks like it's fragmenting more and more by the minute. It doesn't look like the Orthodox uh, side of uh, Christianity is going to have the capability to grow and keep together a message uh, at the level that the Catholic Church has. I mean, the numbers, the difference between one group and the other is overwhelming, even though I have some Orthodox friends that believe that they are the... Uh, largest group. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is that it's, it's 11 uh, a billion point one uh, to a billion point two Catholics and, you know, and then everybody else. I don't think it's going to be the, the, the Protestant church just because there is really no clear centralized position as much as the Protestant church has made an effort to to bring these things together. And so, so and even though Islam also has some level of division is nowhere near what uh, many other religions are, are going through our experiences. So, so that in one end, historically, and based on the reality of both religions and asking the question of what do you think the future is gonna look like, uh, I, I come to that conclusion and I wanted to highlight it from that perspective. The second thing is, like I said before, there, there, there were reasons even for my Muslim friends, who I say this with a great deal of respect, you know, a lot of these um, relationships or a lot of these invitations were, were created or were actually done 
not so much to support what Islam stands for. As a matter of fact, I promise you, my Muslim brothers and sisters, that what you are going to experience is going to be the same level of dislike and maybe even hate uh, that some people are having against Christianity right now, just because in reality, they really don't like religion or embrace anything that would be connected to God. So you will be the next one to experience that as of this moment. And I know that some of you already already are, already have, uh, um, and, 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 but that is connected to the reality that it was never uh, a process that was opening the door to say, here's a new good religion that's going to take us to God as much as it was. Here's a religion that's going to contrast and it's going to weaken and it's going to make it more difficult for the other one. So I cannot wait to see. I definitely have my popcorn ready to see where this is going to develop. And I cannot wait to go to certain people and say, I told you so. Um, be careful what you wish for because it might just come through. And I'm respectful of what everybody else will absolutely believe out there. But this is a very interesting times. And, um, and I hope that uh, especially those people that open the door to, to this kind of evolution of, of the presence of, you know, very large religions and, and, and the development of who will become the main religion of the country. Um, I hope they actually understand what the outcome is going to be because I'm pretty sure that most of them have no idea. Looking forward to uh, hopefully give you an update at some point about where we're going, how these religions are growing, um, what aspect of, of uh, um, who is going to have the greatest impact on, on how society operates and why uh, is going to be part of the conversation. Uh, and that's precisely because I, I, I truly believe that Islam will have a greater impact on how society is going to behave at some point. It's the only reason why I'm saying uh, I think that that day is almost here. And so uh, congratulations to my Muslim, brother, Muslim brothers and sisters for growing at uh, the rate that you are growing. Um, I think that at the end, humanity is going to need some of the fundamental principles that you are introducing uh, through your faith. And so I, I think that at the end, there will be more good than bad. So that hopefully everybody will learn how to process it from the right perspective and from the right reasons. With that being said, that is my humble opinion. Looking forward to hearing your comments. Uh, what do you think about it? What do you think? Will that be a good thing if Islam... If the United States, you know, by 2050 is a Muslim country, if it would be a good thing if, if by 2050 uh, Italy and Rome and the Vatican is, is, uh, is a mosque opposed to being a Christian basilica, um, what do you think? What do you think should happen? Um, but what do you really honestly think would be the future development of these religions? Uh, looking forward to hearing from you. All right, peace. Hmm. I understand the man's point of view, but why is that he came to praise Islam more than Christianity? He should have used this avenue, this medium, to actually say a lot of things about Christianity, how Christianity to can grow. Most especially he was just, you know, giving his point on Islam, why he believes in Islam is taking over. One thing he likes about Islam is that they like to take their stand, their own apologetic, and he's like Catholic. Yes, he's, he's right about the fact that Islam is taking over the world. I think majorly you can attest to it based on what is going on on media that Islam is taking over the world. It seems he has a lot of Muslim friends and he has been learning a lot about Islam for him to be able to come here to praise Islam and talk about your religion let people understand your you know your religion Christianity too well but it was a beautiful one. I enjoyed it thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one bye